Aloha and how you doing? It's Gordo Texar here with my good old buddy Andrew the security guy. How's everybody doing? And Aloha. we have Dave Stevens in the house. And yeah. Dave, Dave is joining us. We're talking talk, cyber today. We're talking, <laughs> cy we're talking cyber today. We're not going to talk election too much. Uh, I hope we can. No, let's go ahead. Give it one minute. <laughs> yeah, it's only a 30 minute show now, so we can't, we've got to behave myself. got to be quick. So, anyway, please grab yourself a chair and a libation. Come and join us in, uh, for the next 30 minutes. Yeah. And we're going to talk about a really, really cool project at the University of Hawaii Community Colleges regarding um, black box mock spear fishing. Say that five times. Pen so testing, fast. baby. Yeah, pen really testing. Yeah, pen yeah, testing. Pen so really it's, it's really cool. So, so Dave, just um, tell us a little bit about yeah, yourself that. and like, um, who you are. You've been on the show. That's I awesome. Yeah, One of our favorite. <laughs> he should wow. be. A, he should be a monthly. Oh, yeah, we should be a monthly. So tell us a little bit about yourself, and then we'll get into what we're going to talk about on this um, uh, black box spear fishing campaign. <laughs> okay, I, I am a full-time IT instructor at Kapi'olani Community College okay. at the University of Hawaii, but I'm also the University of Hawaii Cybersecurity Coordinator for the TACT grant. So the TACT awesome. grant is a grant that uh, has been going on for several years, uh, signed by President Obama and Joe Biden. And oh, speaking uh, of which. So that rolls right into that. Oh, nice transition. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good go ahead. transition. No, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, this year we, we got about $10 million to split between healthcare and cybersecurity. So okay. cybersecurity, we developed some curriculum, some cybersecurity certificates at the community colleges, all of them. Oh, wow. And we just got that rolling. So by coincidence at KCC, we developed a, um, an ICT club who came up with this idea of doing some mock black box spear phishing campaigns, some pen testings for companies for charity to get us to this conference, yes. Black Hat DEF Black Hat, okay, to right. get you that, because you're not, to so the, we're going to talk about how we can get you there. Right, right. And we're going to talk about what you're going to do or enable companies to take advantage of right. so that they get they win, the companies win, right. and at the same time you win and get to go the to... The students win. The students win, right. Yeah. And it's a win-win for the campus, but then I talked to my students who also agreed that we should take the system wide. We do okay. the first couple of customers, and then as more customers come in, we make an actual nonprofit organization that is system wide. Right. And then all the community college systems and maybe even the UH main campuses can participate with their cybersecurity yep. students yeah. and do these tests. It gives them two things. It gives them an internship opportunity, right. an actual right. organization doing pen testing for cybersecurity. Yeah, no, say no, the pen testing because not, not, not many. Oh, penetration our, testing. Okay, so, so that's a penetration. There's several types of penetration. Their system. Right. right. So several types, right. but the most common, as you guys know, is social. Yeah. The yes. biggest yeah. hole is social engineering, right? right? That human loss right. is, is the biggest problem. So we're going to do spear phishing, which is identifying particular people and sending them personalized emails with links to click on or instructions mm -hmm. so we can gather some personal information from the username, password, emails. And then we tell the companies, hey, this person gave up some of their personal information. PII. Can we give a, can we get a, a, a donation? Okay, so, okay, so yeah. you're getting a little bit ahead of me, but that's a good, but it's good though, because we're setting the tone for what this is all about. <laughs> right. Because it is complex and it's, it's the fact is, you know, there's an ability here that you're going to create for students to be educated in a field that is growing like no one else and in business. Exponentially, and exponentially, yeah. a huge yeah. need, yeah. especially and then, in Hawaii. And then we're yeah. going to have an opportunity for uh, businesses here to take advantage of it if they'd only open their eyes. And I won't go down that path, because <laughs> uh, uh, I'm dealing with it yeah. all day long. Uh, open up their eyes and see what's happening and be able to get on, on top of that. So um, with that, though, I, we have we have this segment that we do um, called You Know Got One Tech Job. And so, oh. you know, the, got today? The yeah, so the okay. election, the election package, just happened, as we all know, and really, and I must have missed that. <laughs> I, yeah, where was I? Hacking it. <laughs> and Mr. Trump. So, and they passed a lot of marijuana laws in a bunch of states. You know Nevada. 
Nevada. Vegas is a whole new place. You don't got one tech job. So look at this guy. Zigzag. This oh, guy. You know this guy. I saw this guy um, on the Big Island when I was on, on Halloween, and he. This was his costume. He's a pack of zigzags. He's a, zig, he's a zigzag rolling paper. Oh, <laughs> is that what that is? Rolling paper. Okay. Wow. Wait, That's come on. Good. You're gonna tell us you didn't know. I that? didn't know what that was. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. I believe him. What do you, you think? You believe him? No. No. Okay. Jeez. Oh, I believe you. I'm with you. I actually, you know what? I actually I just I, came back off the road. I actually, <laughs> I actually do believe him. He was one naive Holly boy. Oh, no let me get that out for you. They didn't oh, have that where I was. It's going to cause yeah. a scar. <laughs> In Kentucky, I think it's bourbon. Okay, <laughs> we're getting off topic. <laughs> Here we go again. So anyway, so, so, so we're, we're talking about the fact that you're putting this program together. I'll call it a program where mm. students will get educated in this whole realm of cybersecurity. Right. And then you're going to be able to then do these spear phishing attacks. Right. And so, so tell me, what's a spear phishing attack? I mean, I, you know, not a lot of people know what a spear phishing attack is, except mm. maybe if you go, like, watch the fishing channel. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, right. Different than, you know, shooting a fish yeah. with a spear. Yeah. So uh, phishing, uh, spelled P-H, not okay. F. Uh, is usually a cybersecurity attack that's social and it's uh, targeted at a company or okay. an organization that you want to enter uh, through covert means. Okay. So you send emails to people with links or updated uh, flash uh, links or something like updated keys for the browser. And people click on these links and actually enter information. So the most common one you've seen these, they come in, Bank of America needs your new yeah. account information, or there's been a problem with your Wells Fargo account, please okay. update your account. Okay. So you enter your username and password, but they've hijacked that account. Right. So you're actually entering that account information and giving it to somebody else, a hacker, who now can get to your bank account. And can go to your bank account and, and log in and very quickly. Yeah, and drain you dry. Yeah. So um, this is being used also to put uh, worms and Trojans and backdoors in companies. So yeah. if you click on that link, you can drop a little piece of uh, malicious software inside so the network. Inside your network and inside. So, Usually but, on the but, PC you know, version. But I, you know, right. I'm going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to be the naive Howley boy now. So, 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 but I have um, all these different firewalls on my computer. I have mm. all these different. I pay. Um, McAfee and everybody else for all this protection stuff. So right. why do I need this? I mean, I got all this stuff on my uh, on my machine. Perfect answer is it bypasses everything. Okay. That's right. So the humans can let anything in the door they want. So you can have the best lock on the door on your front door that you you have. But if you have someone naive walking up to the door, answering the door, and opening the door for somebody who's going to attack you. You've let them in. That's right. So it doesn't matter how good the lock is or how good your firewall is. The human factor is always the biggest factor. It's all the biggest factor. Right. And there's some. There are some tools that are better than others. The Z, like Silence, you know, stuff that's looking for zero day at the malware you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Right. Another certain. product. Well, there's and all this it's, Kaspersky. If it's Silence, all, whatever, that's all signature based. Good, uh, yeah, a lot of that. Yeah. So that's right. different, right? That but has to be known. But again, John. John Q. Public, you know, the, most of the people are not in this business. Oh. And dude. they wouldn't know the difference between Silence and McAfee. I had a staffer you know, a price. Click, click a malicious link seven times. I don't know why. <laughs> it came from a manufacturer who had something hijacked, obviously. <laughs> and I can see in the logs. Semantic caught it. I can see in the logs seven yeah. times. I said, why did you keep clicking that? Yeah. So, I mean, we, we educate uh, all the time. It's social. It's social. Yeah. It's totally social and it's trust-based. So, yep. no matter how uh, well-trained your people are, yeah. somebody's always going to let this through. Yeah. So, you really need to do this test about uh, uh, quarterly. Oh, because oh, people yeah. come if into not, your companies if, all the yeah. time, oh, right? Yeah, you always got more. new staff, yeah, yeah. people are leaving. Oh. So you got to keep retraining, keep retraining. And no matter how many times you tell them, don't click on a suspicious link, they're going to click on a suspicious yeah, link. They, and so training, yeah, training, just, training. And you know how many times I tests. hit the, on IT managers and tell them to just wake up and let us <laughs> be more proactive than reactive? That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Yeah, if mean, you're reactive, you're done. You're done. Yeah. You're done. So now, now just the, to the, you're the, like the, the pioneer of all of this, I, I'm assuming, at... at UA, well, they've been, been, been like, program at KCC I mean, you, now. You've been, for, you've been pushing this for some time. I have been pushing this, but there's been a, a um, Honolulu Community College has been leading the way actually That's right. for the UA. Oh, we have Mike. System. Yeah, Mike. So Honolulu has has actually yeah. had the best program so far. HCC, uh, yeah. KCC is tailing after that. Okay. And then and LCC, West of course. Yeah. yeah. And then West Oahu has got a, a fantastic sure. uh, a BAS or Applied Science degree okay. coming up. Yeah. Um, but 
we've been pioneering this one effort to try to actually get people hands-on experience. So, yeah, as you know, oh, yeah. it doesn't matter how much you know, if you don't practice it, it goes uh, away. Yeah. That's right. right? So we're trying to get the people's hands on it so when they get into a company, they hit the ground running, and that's what employers want. They don't want to do a lot of on-the-job training. No, no, not at all. I mean, you can't learn to drive a car by reading the manual. That's a fact. You can, you won't be good. <laughs> Guaranteed. Uh, you won't true. be very good. <laughs> so you, you really need to read the manual and then actually execute something. So yeah. we, we put their hands on Wireshark and yeah. Nmap and Zenmap and, and uh, Burp Suite and all mm -hmm. the other hacking tools. Aircrack. We, we have uh, a lot of labs. I love these terms. They <laughs> have a lab. Well, these are all just tools you no, can I'm get. Just, I'm just, just saying, but the thing, the thing is, the, so uh, is there a, a positive? Do you, are you getting a lot of response or a lot of students coming in out of high school and say we want to get into these programs? I As mean, a matter of fact, yes. Oh, so that's awesome. Kaimuki High School, I'm actually going to be teaching a basic security suite that uh, will fill a requirement for our cybersecurity certificate. Okay. Um, I'm going to be teaching that in spring. We have 10 students taking uh, cybersecurity fundamentals at Kaimuki High School. That's awesome. Yeah. That's great. We, we got to right? come up with the, the kids. Who are the kids? Um, Oh, the group of kids out here that do their their cyber guys. Um, oh my gosh! Well, your gosh is gone. Sorry. Anyway, we'll keep going. <laughs> but so, I'll think but, of but it. you'll think of it. It'll come. So, but but wouldn't it be cool if Hawaii could become a cyber security um, melting pot for creating the talent that's needed um, nationally in this country? Well, the NSA's got how many this? openings now? I know, this right. is 60 or 80? They come to us. Here, no, I mean here. They Yo, come yeah, over here. the UHCC system uh, every semester and say that, you know, you've got 10 months and get into the Stop program now. Stop smoking weed. Yeah. <laughs> Your zigzags. No. <laughs> and then you, you have 10 months to go through your security clearance sure. and then you can get into an internship yeah. for a summer. And we have a lot of applicants for that yeah. system-wise. So NSA has got a lot of openings and there's... there's Quite a few kids going into that, but there's there's a lot of opportunities. Just, out there. I mean, it's, it, it reminds me of when I first got into this IT industry. Mm -hmm. You know, it was like awesome. you couldn't find anybody, and everybody was you know scrambling to find people that would just go in, even without a degree, they would teach you. Mm -hmm. And now here we are in this whole cyberspace, and people are just screaming for help, mm -hmm. screaming for help. Okay, we're gonna um, we're at that moment in time where we have to take a break. You're kidding. That so was 15 minutes? That was 15 wow. minutes. We need to get to talk about the program too Whoa. much. Oh! No, we're going to do that. We need to talk about the election. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay we got, we can take this an hour show? Anyway, we're going to take a very, very short break. Um, you go um, get Angus. We'll go get Angus. <laughs> I'll make sure Angus doesn't talk too much. And we'll have Dave come on and talk more about the program. So we'll be back in about a minute. Thank you for watching Think Tech. I'm Grace Chang, the new host for Global Connections. You can find me here live every Thursday at 1 p.m. where we'll be talking to people around the islands or visiting the islands who are connected in various aspects of global affairs. So please tune in and aloha and thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Chris Leatham with Think Tech Hawaii and I'd like to ask you to come watch my show, The Economy in You, each Wednesday at 3 p.m. Aloha, I'm Kirsten Baumgart-Turner, host of Sustainable Hawaii. We live stream every Tuesday from noon to 1230. And you get a chance to hear what people are doing about sustainability in Hawaii and what the issues are impacting all of us in all the islands. Join us, please. Aloha, my name is Josh Green. I serve as senator from the Big Island on the Kona side, and I'm also an emergency room physician. My program here on ThinkTech is called Healthcare in Hawaii. I'll have guests that should be interesting to you twice a month. We'll talk about issues that range from mental health care to drug addiction to our health care system and any challenges that we face here in Hawaii. We hope you'll join us. Again, thanks for supporting ThinkTech. Join us at ThinkTech of Hawaii. Our show is Asia in Review. Our next program is on November 17. This is Johnson Choi, your host. Aloha everyone, I hope you've been watching Think Tech Hawaii, but I'm here to invite you to watch me on Viva Hawaii every Monday at 3 p.m. I'm waiting for you. Mahalo. Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Drew, the security guy. Um, just got a quick tip for you today. NIST put out a small business information security guide today, fundamentals. So for you small business owners, this is free. You can, we might see, a, I don't know if we see the web link or not, but you can go get, download this document today. It's a quick read, maybe 30 pages.
but it's got some tools in there to help you do risk assessment of your organization, um, ways to identify like your asset management and, and so just some uh, the things that you need to do to get started in raising the awareness of cybersecurity inside your own organization. Um, and it's a, it's a great document, it's free. It's the government, uh, you know, you basically paid for it with your tax dollars. So really good stuff. Uh, check it out. Uh, that's it. Uh, Angus is here, obviously, as he always, with something good. What's up, Angus? <laughs> How you doing, Andrew? Hey, buddy. It's me. How's Yo, it? Angus McTrump. <laughs> right on. Yo, McTrump again. Yeah, Trump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw you last time looking like you're that. You're upcoming president of the United <laughs> States of America. <laughs> right on. Yeah. Good yeah. on you. <laughs> what do you think there, Dave? <laughs> it, it's going to be cold living up there. What do you think? <laughs> How, am I, How am I looking? How am I hands? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your hands are a little bit big. Don't strike me with the hands, because you might knock me out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we are. You know, I was going to do a, a wee bit on the NIST as well. You know, I think it's a really cool thing. Yeah. So you know, they came up with all that, that document, the technology release, the draft cybersecurity framework. It's all there. You know, and uh, you know, there's a lot of businesses that Garden's trying to get to pay attention to it, but he has no luck at it. But now that I'm the president, you know what? We're, we're going to kick some sorry uh, Okoli and make sure that. <laughs> <laughs> right on. You you know, so now I'm, I'm going to be politically correct now that I'm the president. Of the I like it. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, so anyway, we, 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 we'll, we'll go after the email scandal a little bit later. But anyway, <laughs> so anyway, I got that. But I got a wee gadget for you too. But you know, this is this is the NIST framework. You know, and, and Dave, you said it. It's all about the people. It's all about the people. Social is the biggest hole. That's yeah. right. And there it is. There's your people right there in your. Um, <laughs> uh, there's your people right there, and your NIST unveils a new cybersecurity framework. This is Powbox to give me that information. So we're all set on there. But I got a wee gadget for you. You know, every year I have a wee gadget. A wee okay. gadget. A wee gadget. A wee okay. gadget. And you know what? And, you know, and, how, and uh, Thanksgiving is coming up. So, you know, and you're sitting around the family, and most of the time you're social again, pretty bored. <laughs> you know, you can go, come up and get yourself this wee chalkboard tablecloth. You know, can, and then, you know, when you're bored at the dinner, you can just draw on it and make notes. Nice. And it can't be hacked, so you kind of do a cybersecurity <laughs> check on it. So it's all set there. Anyway, that's that's my gadget. That's my security. And you know, you know, here we go. It's it's a it's just you know change. It's a really you know change. So remember, like I always said, let your gang bang free wherever you be. Hello. <laughs> Angus always bringing to something. So a chalkboard tablecloth. <laughs> Think about that. And uh, definitely check out there. Another thing that this published was a. Um, uh, think about the jobs, like a pathway to jobs that flow into cybersecurity, and even the middle manager guys uh, making one hundred seven thousand a year. So if you could use that uh, income, check it out. <laughs> one hundred seven. I'd, like, I'd like to make one hundred seven. Welcome back, brother. Welcome, yeah. welcome back. Let's so talk anyway, about this program. So let's talk about this program. So we're we're here with with Dave Stevens. We're talking about Hawaii Community Colleges. Um, um, so opportunity that you're going to enable for the students and for businesses in Hawaii. to, you know, the students for opportunities to grow in their skills mm -hmm. in the cybersecurity space mm -hmm. and businesses to take advantage of um, um, mock attacks. Yeah, because your organization. So you, talk about this. You so, would pay a lot for a pen test. You would pay a penetration thousands test. of penetration tests like mm -hmm. this. So yeah. and you know to have the results and have it analyzed. And in business out there, I just want to say something. If I expect to fail this. You will fail. You will fail badly. 60, 70, 80 percent of your people will take this bait, and they should. Yeah. That's a good thing. Then train them and go to NIST. There's a ton of training. That's what that's what I use. It's Securing a, the human, right? It's great a program. great point. You know, if you if you provide a little bit of training for people, then you perform this penetration test and this phishing scam, and people click on the links, then you can provide the results to say this is how effective your training has been so far. Yeah. Then you provide some more training and do another pen test, yeah. and then you compare the results. And then keep training and training and it's, training. It's an ongoing process. Sure. That's the problem with uh, folks understand, uh, you know, if you install an antivirus or something mm -hmm. like right, this, right. you know, you're done. You cannot think yeah, about this right. anymore. But it's not. It's a running game. So yeah. no matter how yes. fast I run, if I stumble, the bad guys are going to overtake They're right me. There. So, what's, so what's your plan? So how's the program going to work? How can I, as a company, take, you know, you know um, call Hibachi call <laughs> and enlist in, in, in this opportunity, and then how are you going to get it out there? I mean, we're hoping that we can help you get it, get the word Gosh, out there. Gosh, I hope so, yeah. 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 So, so how, what's the plan? What's the program? So right now, we've got a lot of plans. However, I feel like uh, NASA in the T-60 countdown, <laughs> and we've got the, the, the bird on the pad ready to go, and we're still deciding what astronaut to put in the capsule. Okay. okay. So that's the, that's the stage we're at right sure. now. However, what we plan to do is, like, Andrew suggested, provide some training, do the testing, have a 30-day window so no one sees it coming, and then after that, provide the results, and then based on the results, do some more training. Mm -hmm. right. And then if they want another pass, 
we'll do another pass. Yeah. And we, we get people down to, I think you were saying 4%. Uh, the biggest organizations I've talked to that started oftentimes 30, 40, 50% acceptance of, of, of phishing email, right. um, are no one seems to be able to get it down below 3 or 4. I think that's terminal velocity. Yeah. Right? That's critical mass. You can't pass and that. And so imagine anything. that. You know, just if you... If you got to accept the fact that one out of 20 of your people are always going to be a vulnerability to your organization. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's an, we're talking about ransomware, basically. It's and it's not just locker. private industry now. No, it's everybody. I mean, Hillary Clinton's email was hacked. Yeah, and right? it was probably a social attack. Probably, I yeah. mean, they have network firewalls. They have all these intrusion prevention, intrusion detection systems, and all these sophisticated pieces of software. But you put a human in the mix... You bypassed all of it's that. All done, yeah, right? I mean, I have clients and, and clients that have called me, or now my clients, because, again, some s secretary or clerk or whatever clicked on an email, and now everything on their servers are all locked up. Yeah. And they're saying, okay, now you got to get me out. And I used to going to go buy, pay, I pay the ransom. You do. Oh, I, I, pay I ransom. You got to pay, you got to pay the no, ransom. You just don't have, they don't have a backup. They, well, because they don't have a backup. That's the other issue as well. They didn't uh. do a, oh, or, and they brought the backup in while well, the, well, they brought the backup on while it oh, was wow, still in the system That's right. and it encrypted the backup. Now, some ransomware actually <gasps> will now actually time itself. Yep. So you don't know you have it. Right. until your third backup in the rotation is also corrupted. Yeah. So no matter what backup you bring online, it's this also scary. corrupted. This is scary stuff. It, people are very sophisticated, but it's not new. Yeah. Oh, you know, no. in, in 1999, I was working for a company called Homestore.com. We got hit by the I Love, I love You virus. Mm -hmm. Okay, think about oh, that was the I Love You dot VBS. Yeah. Okay. That was the tennis Every star. geek yeah. in the company double-clicked on I Love You VBS, yeah. and we spread it everywhere. <laughs> yeah. So it was just instant, I love you, double-click. Yeah. And, and, and what... I didn't get that. What? It's not doing anything. Double click again. Double click again. <laughs> double click again. And, and you were telling me one person had like seven times. This is yeah. the same thing. Yeah. It, it's not new. But companies don't accept sure. that this is a risk. Yeah. So, so how are we going to get? How are we going to get companies to open up their eyes and, and allow this to happen? So well, that, we'll tell the my story. Big, my biggest. I think we my, gotta, biggest, my biggest question is is that it's. I think it's, I, if I was in a company and I was the IT director and I've been many times, you're the first guys I would say, yes, come on in. But there's, my, my problem is I have is that 80 to 90% of the IT directors that I'm in contact with will not allow this to be happening. Well, they won't. It's a fear. Yeah. There's a but fear. What if we're penetrated? Even you if you're really, yeah. Yeah, you I, gotta be. You better by that. these guys than the bad guys. That's right. I'm yeah. sitting there going, like, you are already. I mean, what yeah, have the, I got to so do? So the banks have to do this now, healthcare, or, you know, the regulated industries have to yeah. do this training already. Right, so HIPAA requires it. It would be it, really yeah. fun to see, because they, and Steve uh, Robertson, he'll share his test with you. He'll talk, oh, yeah. he'll talk yeah. about his well, well, It'd be fun to see well, if you went to their organization, if you got similar results as he's been getting, right? You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's nice to have that third-party audit. You're they're very to, progressive. Now, they're one, yeah. of the few, one of the organizations in the town, Hawaii Pacific Health, that does a great job, in, and they'll bring stuff in. They will do, <laughs> they will go out of their way to make sure that what they've done is right. Yeah. But you know what? He's a rare, rare yeah. bird in this town. That sounds like a gem, really. Yeah. Uh, you I don't mean, get that very often. You don't get that very often. Yeah. We, we're still dealing with old school mentality. Oh, people worked up it. their way in a corporate ladder yeah. and they really didn't come up through the trenches sure. in IT. So they really don't understand the vulnerabilities yeah. and they don't understand the risk until it's actually become yeah. an, uh, an exploit. I, I know. I got 40 year olds who are acting like I'm supposed to be acting. And I'm the one that's saying, you know, I'm, I'm going, like, wait a minute. I'm the old school guy. I've been doing this for 50 years. Yeah. I should be acting like you. And I'm right. arguing with them. And they, just literally arguing with them. And they're, well, we're not doing it. We're not doing it's it. It's a hard sell. Yeah. It wow. really is a hard sell. It, it, it won't be once they're hit. I'm yeah, and that's like, the problem. Is, once you're yeah. hit, it's already happened. And it's too you know, late. And they're, too but late. they're so used to being in reactive mode. And I keep telling them, why don't you just start shifting your mind? And why don't we get proactive? And so you're Ahead of the game. And plus, it's yeah. it's basically free. There's the training time, right? <sighs> but so I use those securing the human posters. Saying you know, Sans has posters that yep. show you what a, a bad. It shows about all the elements. And when you get stuff to take a look, you know, if you get something you weren't expecting, first of all, don't click on anything. Look at the header. Go look at it and see yeah. what it is. Who's it from? Is it yeah. is it says Andrew Lanning? But is it really from me? No, it's from somewhere else. You know. Right. So they they've. Um, the, just doing that type of training, that awareness training for people, and I, I'm the guy, I'm paranoid, so I got these posters, like, post, you know, I, I move them around, I, the one time they're on the mirror, next time they're on your desk when you come back, yeah, next yeah. time they're on the toilet, like, I, I'm constantly trying to keep that awareness, because all toilet. you can do is go for constant awareness, because right. it's a constant problem. We can harden 
80 plus percent of your environment technically. We've got yes. CSC Trop 20 yeah. controls. We can do that, but we can't fix that person. The people yeah, and you are can't. The, yeah, well, and you can't. And uh, my, my message to the CEOs and COOs and CFOs and so on is like, you need to demand of your CIOs or CTOs or whatever, or CSOs, you need to demand that they be doing this stuff at least, like you said earlier, Dave, quarterly, on a quarterly yeah, basis. Yeah. At least. And at least. And then it's an HR issue, too. So you got to monitor it, right? So if you've got a person that fails three times after being trained for three quarters of training now you've got uh, you've got an, an employee requirement yeah, issue is, right yeah. like this guy's not doesn't get it and he's yeah. actually a danger to your yeah. organization he's a risk Give the union the, a actually the, the, yeah. the biggest danger is budgetary yeah so i know and i'm not going to tell the company right now but yeah. i actually know of a company that implemented a cybersecurity group paid for them to all get their CISSPs. they're yeah. all really good people okay and then they went through a merger and the emerging company came in and cut their budget in half. Wow. Yeah. Can you imagine? For the cybersecurity group. Right. And I said, that's bad. Yeah. Yeah. You're going, you're going to get hit. And here's where you can help them get their budget back. So mm -hmm. here's, you just hit on something. You know, so yes, I want you to come in. I want you to bring your students in. I want you to try and do a phishing attack on me. And if you find it, then I'm going to use that information just to go budget to the increase. budgeting yeah. department. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. We brought in a neutral third party who's showed where we we're vulnerable i need money to fix this if you and now once that's done it's on the record yeah. if they ever get hacked oh someone's gonna go, someone down. Like, yeah. oh, wait, wait, wait. you know your cto or cio you knew brought knew knew about this yeah, you yeah. knew about this and you do it and then as they go like well that's why we don't want you back in because you'll, you'll tell us again. <laughs> so, but again it's you're gonna you are yeah. yeah you will fail this and you should fail this i've Every never time. actually i don't actually know of a penetration test that ever failed actually because no they most, all get most testers will test yeah. until they get in and they they there's just always a way well i remember and, one and a long time ago where it was a social media and a guy 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 was trying to get into a bank the bank brought him in and he got in socially and he called from the help desk and his name was um sean lamangelo and his name is, was lemon jello yeah. and, nice. that, and he nice. called in as sean lamangelo and they let him in yeah and that's and they were like spent two weeks trying to get into this bank and it was the su human being yeah, the so social part that got him and that well, even michael milken i mean it's what he, he did you know, i got a great story for you guys okay sure so it Make cyber security Take i got it I, it cyber security i told my class okay they're talking smack hack me hack my email five weeks 130 hours 23 students working in con consort hacked me three ways they did a social attack. They built an actual profile from uh, of me on Ancestry.com to get my mother's maiden name. Mm -hmm. they, wow. they did a they did a physical attack. They misdirected my attention in class while someone actually put a keylogger on my system. Mm -hmm. and wow! And they put it underneath the power supply, so nice. I didn't notice, right? right. And it's just a loose USB cable. And they did a session hijacking attack mm. in the classroom. Ooh. They did ARP poisoning and DNS poisoning to redirect my login yeah, yeah. to my email, and they grabbed it, duplicated the site. Stripped off the HTTPS, and I didn't notice. Okay, that, and I'm that's the teacher. Awesome. That's, that's awesome. I'm the teacher. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> so believe it or not, we so, have, we have burned through 30 minutes. We're going to be back. We're going to talk about we'll this have tomorrow. You come back. So, right. again, and the message to everybody: Please listen to Dave. You got to bring in the tools, especially if they're offered at free 99. To well, you got to make a donation to the students. Yeah, Just it, donate. Yeah, 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 but that'll come. That'll come. Anyway, so uh, you 67 was your solo cup. You that's got right. number 90. I won't give you this one. We got number ninety-one coming up. Ninety-one, on there. right? So on. no one doesn't go unrewarded. All right. Um, we're gonna bring you back with a student next time to see what's going on. Fantastic. Yeah. Anyway, anyway I'm exhausted. This is really. This is a really good one. Anyway, want to thank you guys for joining us again on, on Hibachi Talk. Drew, Dave, Cybersecurity, and if we say to everybody at the end of the show. Oh yeah. One, two, three. How, How are you, you doing? doing?